Hey, I hope you're doing well out there. It's Dr. Matt here and I wanted to explain a couple things today that you could actually uh, do for yourself when it comes to knee problems, knee discomfort, knee pain. I talked in a previous post in part one, this will be part two. So I talked a little bit about the lunge position. If you're just trying to be proactive and keep your knees healthy, this will be a really good one as well. Um, the lunge position you may not find uh, easy if you have knee pain, so be careful. But I want to show you, I want to get you to fatigue yourself a bit and watch what knee moves around the most and buckles in, right? And don't forget, when you do all this, what is it under the control of? The coordination. Right? It's going to be your brain. Your brain's going to send messages all the way down your spinal cord, right? To your muscles and also your organs. So, with that being said, let's see how your motor control is for when you're actually moving with your knee, right? So here, um, all I would do is set yourself for the lunge, hands at your sides, and when you come down, this time, dig your big toe into the ground, anchor your foot. But I want you to try, if you can, 10 to 15 repetitions on each side. And watch for what knee starts to move around a lot and buckle in. So that could indicate that your hip's not moving as well, and you don't have the mobility either in your ankle or your hip. But a lot of times it's a motor control issue from your hip. So if your hip doesn't move that well and function, or it's not strong enough, then your knee eventually can have problems. So, with that being said, in order to strengthen your actual hip, one thing I want you to know is that this is gonna be your buttocks here, this is your spine, your brain's up here. All the nerves gotta come down, but your glutes are gonna cross over here and provide some closure to this SI joint. So if, you, if your joints are shifted and stuck, that's gonna be a factor in how your hip moves. And also, if your hip doesn't move properly, it could be a strength issue. So part of the strength program, and this can really help your knee if your knee's giving you a problem, is just start out, you can lay on your side, and what I want you to think about is your upper glute. So right where your low back meets your glute, think about right through there and strengthening that area. So if you notice, let's say on the left side, your knee didn't move very well, it started to buckle inward, then lay on the, the right side, and you're gonna be working your left glute. So from here, come out, and back down. And you can even put your hand on the top of your glute, make sure you feel the tension when you come up, and come back down. Pause, and then back through. When you do it, do it anywhere from I would go for more of an endurance activity, so 10 to 20 reps. And when this gets easy, you can put a band around your knees, so actually wrap around a band while you're laying on the ground, just to provide you with some tension when you come out. And again, if you're working on the glute because the, the left knee's being a problem, you're laying on your right side and it's the left glute you're working. The other thing I like is the band. So this is actually a really popular post we made about a month or two ago. And if you actually use a band, this is 10 to 15, 20 dollars at the store. All I would do is wrap this around like this. And this you're going to work on both your glutes with this. But essentially you're pushing outward this way. And you're just hiking up your hip to move. And you can walk 20 steps that way. You can go backwards if you want, but you're always keeping the tension on the band going this way. And you really wanna focus on noting the tension through here. So give those two things a try, and never forget that if you actually um, have bad mechanics through your hips and your pelvis, and you're actually shifted in your spine, it could be a factor in the motor control, but also in the mechanics of how you're moving on your hip, and all the way down to your knee, okay? Otherwise, if you have any questions, let me know, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great uh, day.